Um, so we had an Encyclopedia Britannica salesman come to our door. Mm-hmm. Um, you get A through C through CH. <laughs> something like that. He brought, he brought like a couple of uh-huh. books in and they go through the whole spiels, me and my dad, my mm-hmm. mom. Uh, and then my dad's like, well, how much do they cost? And I forget what it was, but it was like an astronomical number. And I know that uh, down at the trade well, mm-hmm. a couple miles from our house, they were selling the Funkin' Wagnalls for like $5 oh, or something oh, a, a volume. Funkin' Wagnall. They yeah. hated Britannica Encyclopedia. Yeah, yeah. There was like so, street fights. And yeah. So one, guy, Britannica, one guy like had sex with his sister and then yeah. it was just... The Britannica was something ridiculous, like mm-hmm. thousands of dollars or something. You know, I, I was a kid. I don't you know what think it was. Since I sold them, I would know how much they cost. <laughs> but uh, my dad was like, you know, that's that's too. We're not going to do that. That's too expensive. Uh-huh. And he says, but if money, the salesman's like, if money were not the object, uh-huh. would you would you get them? Uh-huh. And he said, well, yeah, they're yeah. If we didn't have to pay for them. <laughs> We would take them. <laughs> He's like, yeah, because uh, the, and he goes through the whole the quality uh, of the pages. Right, right. He showed the stitching. Yeah, all the, the sti- like because he had no, he had a, he had a, he had a volume. That's why you buy a good book. You flap it over and he shows the the head like a cutaway. <laughs> he went through the whole thing, man. He, I remember he was in the tan suit. He was wearing never chose anybody in a tan. No, suit. never. It was this color tan suit. Uh huh. And he, you know, just going through the whole thing. And, and he says, so now, wh- why? let's go ahead and sign up. And my dad's like, I told you, it's too expensive. We're not going to pay uh-huh. for this. Right. And he said, but if money weren't the object. And my dad was like, yeah, but money is the object. <laughs> this kept going. So me and my mom are it's sitting. Like, if I were made out of cheese, <laughs> you would eat my arm, right? Yeah. So me and but my mom. But you're not. But if I was, me and my mom are sitting. Where are you going with something. this? Yeah, you, no, so, you know, <laughs> my dad. You know, he passed when he, you know when he was relatively young, uh, fifty three. Um, so you don't you never met him or talked to him, but he was very right. soft spoken guy. He had a great sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Okay, but That's it's probably very where you, probably where you got it. Maybe. But he's yeah. very, very soft-spoken or whatever, and very serious mm-hmm. when he needed to be. Mm-hmm. And he just said, uh, he leaned into the guy, like, really close, and he said, um, I told you no, uh-huh. and you need to leave our house. And the guy said, but I can tell you guys really, really like these encyclopedias. <laughs> and I can tell that if money weren't the issue, you would take them. So let's talk about ways in which we can help you pay for them. And my dad said, okay, in my bedroom, which is down the hall, there's a dresser. Uh-huh. In the top drawer of the dresser is a nine millimeter pistol. <laughs> it's currently not loaded. So it's going to take me a minute to get in there and load it. Uh-huh. But when I come back, if you are still in my house, I'm going to empty it into you. And then... My dad just calmly walked down the hall, uh-huh. and the guy, the salesman, looked at me. I don't know why he looked at me. Right. And he looked at my mom, and my mom very calmly said, "I think he's serious. Mm-hmm. I think you better leave." And the, he, I mean, he had books strewn all over the place. <laughs> he's slamming them in the box, all this stuff. He's running, and I heard like my dad. I, I could the way our house was uh-huh. set up. I could lean back and I could see into the. Uh-huh. He's in the. Like that, and he could you could hear it come down the hallway. He wasn't going to come down that's, the hallway and kill the awesome. guy, right? But he was being, you know how well, like he doesn't know that. He, yeah, you know how they talk about how right. the best home defense is a is a shotgun because everybody that yep. rack, everybody, yep. Yep. everybody knows what that means. He was going <laughs> through it, and he started stomping down the hallway as the guy was running out of the, out of the room. And my dad came out with this gun in his hand uh-huh. as the guys, we had a long driveway as he's just tearing down the driveway, uh-huh. messing up his tires, hitting the rock wall on the way down, <laughs> goes in the neighbor's yard across from us and peels out up the street. And we laughed about that for That's awesome. days. That's awesome. That was the story.